They, I've never seen a fire act like this one. You know, usually it's, you know, this, the firefighters, are, they're awesome. They have to, they have to work and climb up all those hills and all that turnout gear, stuff like that. But this is just like above and beyond that. It's, it's amazing the way that thing spread. They were, you know, like smoke, like 300 feet in the air. I'm overwhelmed. I can't believe that it's, it was like, it was very happy at one point where I seen no smoke at all. And then all of a sudden, it just flared up real big again. So then all of it uh, doubling or tripling, it's been very scary. All of us are worried but there's nothing we can do. So we chat and meet each other. Some of us have lived close to each other for years and never met, and now we are, you know. Um, I don't know, we're all a little frustrated. We don't, many of us don't think we probably really needed to go last night. But, and of course there's this great sense of frustration because the only information we get is from the media, people who are actually there and know what's going on, don't tell us anything. I mean, I think people are very frightened that their homes are gone and their possessions are gone, but they're also trying to make the best of it. Uh, people have been very calm and collected, but you can tell there's this underlying anxiety about whether or not their homes are still there. But did I tell you I start one?